Hi everybody. In today's video, someone asked a question on the iClone forum how to replace an object with another object at a certain time, and they wanted it to be instant. So that's where the step transition type comes in handy. If you want to run this yourself, all you have to do is create a scene with five balls. You can call you can actually use props, just call them ball one, ball two, ball three, ball four, and ball five. And I'm going to run this Python script, which is right here at github.com slash data juggler slash Python scripts. And the one you want is teleportballs.py. And I'll put the link in the video description. And now I will just go ahead and, assuming you have these five balls, all you have to do to run it is... Well, I will show you the easy way, just in case you want the easy way to download this file because they make it a harder than it should be click on raw and now you can click on control a to select all and control c to copy and then paste that into notepad or your favorite text editor and save it as teleportballs.py and that would be lowercase py preferably okay so now that you have your python script i'm going to go ahead and run it so i have my i already have it right here and now here it brings up this little window here. The interval seconds is defaulting to five seconds, but I'm going to lower it down to make it change a little bit faster. This shows you a little bit of information about your scene, and I'm going to go ahead and click on um, run our scene. So about every three seconds, our little balls are just going to swap places. So I'm just going to let this run a couple of times, and I don't even, my balls are actually not arranged in clockwise order they're just kind of I just I just named them the way I found them in the scene so that's okay though because I don't know what they wanted to do I was just showing them a way to the balls kind of switch like this not really sure what you'd want to do this for but that's another story all right so here I'm going to just show you the very quick tour of the code and that'll be the end of it so at the very beginning it starts off at like line 187 and this builds a little window and the little slider here for our value and our button that's the key things and it adds all this to our little window and shows it after that once it, once you click the button after you've set your interval it calls this method right here and all this does is it gets your frame the the current frame and then number of frames in your project so we can set up our loop and then here it just it, this is where it finds ball one and it gets the position of ball one ball two ball three all the way through to ball five and then here we've got this little loop and what it does basically it was really I didn't actually write that much code because each time I just wrote this one and then here you notice it's like one two three four five and here it's five one two three four four five one two three etc so all I did was move the variable name here this all got written to the same place so ball three got wrote to where the ball one was on index number three just that, that's the quick explanation and if we reach the end of the loop it breaks out of the loop and here I just tell you your balls are ready to teleport so that is the end of my video I'm gonna leave you with a quick 30 seconds or whatever that is of balls rotating